Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, June 1912 uh, variant we have, okay, and question number 11. Let's start. First question, we have to find derivative, and then we need to find out the integration. And the question is so clear. So let's start. So first of all, we need to find derivative. So Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, I part y is equals to root of 4x plus 1 and plus 9 over root of x 4x plus 1. But you know that we can't differentiate. We have to bring in the numerator. So, okay, I'll just reshape it and I write the same thing here. Plus 9 times 2, 4x plus 1 power negative half. Now I'm starting dy over dx. You know, criteria power comes down. So half comes down and power reduced minus half. And base remains same, 4x plus 1 times 2 base derivative. 4x become 4 and 1 becomes 0. Same story here. This minus half multiply with negative with, with, with 9. And power reduce then minus one. And you know from minus one, if you reduce one, become minus three by two. So minus three by two power comes on second bracket. Into base derivative is a four. So I've just reshaped and this two four cancels. Two and this negative half comes in denominator, become positive half, and that is called root. And uh, this 2 cancel 2 to the 4, and 2 nines are 18. Negative 18. And I bring this power 3 by 2 in denominator. It turns to be 4x plus 1 and power 3 by 2. So I have done my first derivative over. OK. So this is clear. After six, okay, next part is asking integration. So how do integration? Let's try integration part. Integral y is actually, uh, I'm going to integrate this or this, so same thing. So integral of 4x plus 1 and dx. I can split. Splitting mean integral of the whole thing or first part separate and second part separate. So look, I can I can I can show you what I'm going to do. Negative half and dx. This line I can bring outside the integral sign. According to criteria, increase the power by one. So already half half plus one three by two. And same value divides. And here four multiply and here four divides. Four come from the base differentiation. And same story here, nine as it is, increase the power by one. So minus half become positive half, and half as it is into base derivative, plus C I have to write. This two to the four cancel, and two to the six. So I get a here six. So four X plus one, power three by two by six. Similarly here, it turns to be nine and root of four X plus one and by two. So I have done integration of the Y. This part is also clear. So six marks we gained. And now he's asking for the M. M is what M is a point of the minima. And you know, whenever point of minima, we always put maxima or minima. So we have to always put derivative equals to zero. This is a point reason, a tangent, parallel to x-axis, it's, it's a gradient always zero. So that is a logic behind. So I will put derivative equals to zero. So let's start. Okay, so this derivative I have already, I will put here zero and I'll solve for it. So let's start. And M coordinate I need, and then I need the shared area part third. So I'm erasing 
uh, shared area is very clear to part for third term. Okay, so I'm erasing these questions for the space. Okay, now I'm finding the M coordinate. So M coordinate, I will put derivative is equals to zero. So when I put zero here, so let's see what happens. Zero, now restful algebra, 4x plus one minus 18 over 4x plus one to power three by two. This whole value with negative comes on left hand side become positive like this okay after this this stay on the right side now cross multiply and uh, three by two is bigger and the half smaller i can bring this on the right hand side and two on the left hand side divide so 18 by two and 4x plus one to power three by two over 4x plus to power half out of three by two half cancel and you can see that three by two half cancels to lcm three minus one two so ultimately it become one so it means three by two minus half it gives us one and here i get nine so ultimately i'm approaching this even bracket you don't show no problem now one goes there it subtracts so we get a 4x is equals to 8 and x becomes 2. But he asking coordinates. Game is not finished. This value put back in equation. Okay, so let's find y coordinates. And you know, it's not a hard job. 4 Sir, to the 8. Yes, one. Yes, please. Uh, when we divide uh, uh, yeah, 4x yeah, yeah. plus 1, shouldn't it be uh, 3? 9 equal 4, uh, 4x plus 1 uh, cube. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, Muspa, you asking my son in this step or which step, my son? Tell me. This is a, this is a step after. Uh, this step you asking my son. Okay. Look, this two divides it come under eighteen. Any question here? No. Okay. This whole thing multiply right hand side on the top. It becomes this. Agreed or not? Yes. And now if if k to power three by two and k to power half, same basis. Then what you do always, you can say upper power, wait, I repeat again, upper power minus lower power. You agreed with this or not? Look at here, three by two and half. So three by two and half subtract. You know the basic criteria of algebra indices? Then when- Yes, ever, yes. Yes, no, I understand. I think understand thank you very much and i asked a very good question okay i'm putting these two back in equation okay and i am putting the other also uh, even even same story here four twos are eight eight plus one nine and this become nine root give you three so y is equals to three and this is also three uh and three and three can so wait a minute let me check again uh, four twos are eight plus one, nine, nine root is three. So three threes are canceled, we get a three here. Okay, and this also two, so three plus three, six. So we got a six, so the M coordinate I am getting is X is two and Y is six. So Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, I got my point uh, M coordinate. And after this, I'm going for the uh, shared part. So take screenshot, otherwise I will erase it. So last part I, uh, I'm going to do now, I have to find shared area. If you look at carefully, shared area is this one. I just make a big diagram, you can understand. This is x-axis and the curve comes in here in this one. So this is a y-axis, y-axis, x-axis and the curve. And we need to find the area between all these things. So this area, how we can find it? How we can find it uh, because if we integrate, uh, you know very well, whenever we go for x-axis integration, for example, this is a curve. If a, this is a one, this is a three. If I integrate from the one to three, I get area from curve till x-axis. 
Okay. Interesting part is coming here now. Okay. Now what to do? How to manage? Okay. Normally, normally I tell you one thing. Normally I tell you one thing. Uh, if I, if I show you, for example, okay. If I have a curve like integration, how to get area? Here we write y and here dx is area formula. So um, and and uh, limits are here. We can find it. But problem is one here. What? When I find out the equation area, it gives you, for example, this curve. And below I have a line. And this area I'm looking for. This area. How we can find equation in, in curve and line? Curve and line. So curve integration will give you full area. And line area will give you from line to x axis. And if I subtract them, I get this area between curve and line. So what is the concept behind it? So line, a curve integration minus line integration. So this is a whole story of the question. So let's see now how we can complete it because we have already done one part already done. So I have to complete my question only. So actually, uh, okay, one more interesting part. I just tell you, if I need a full area from curve till x axis, then no need to subtract from line. But problem is that now in this particular question, we have not a full area. Look at here. This is not a full area from curve till x axis. No, no, no. We need an area from curve till line only. So now this is a very, very interesting. So let's start. So what is a plan action? So shaded area, I give you a plan. Curve area, curve area, integration of curve minus integration of the line or you can find the area of the rectangle this is area of rectangle if you want to make easy for you because from the curve area you get a full but then we need to find out the area of rectangle two methods either you integrate a line or you find directly in integration of the rectangle no issue at all okay curve luckily i have it i have done it and limits is a m coordinate if I remember, uh, wait a minute, I got, I think, uh, uh, wait a minute, I got uh, three and six. Let me confirm. So student, I guess I check um, M coordinate is two, six. So it means I can say that M coordinate is two, six. What does two, six means? It means this is two and this gap is six. Okay, so it means I got an M coordinate two comma six, okay. It means I can do two ways, okay? The uh, area of the curve minus rectangle or area of the curve minus line area, no problem. Integration of the curve we have already here. So no waste of time. I will just plug in the values, but limits are zero and two, starting zero, ending two. So starting zero, ending two. And four X plus one power three by two divided by six plus nine times two, four X plus one divided by two, limit is a zero to two. And line integration you do all rectangle. What is rectangle areas? Two, six or 12. Okay, I'm, I'm saving my time. I just, I can do a show later on on Shishal also that uh, what is the answer of area? I'm doing directly. Integration, the line area will give you rectangle and that is a 12, okay. So let's plug in the value. First, I put two in the, uh, in the all x values and then zero. When I put two in the place of this, two fours are eight, eight plus one, nine, and nine to power three by two by six. But, uh, wait a minute, I write again, by two, oh, sorry, not by two, by six, sorry. By six plus nine times two, same again, two fours are eight, uh, eight, eight plus one, nine, nine root is three, so three. This is called upper upper value. Now I put zero now. When I put zero in the place of X is gone. So it gives you one by six. And when I put zero here, it is give you nine by two. So this is very, very clear. So this I got an equation of A. So I just close to my answer. Nine to power three by two give you 27 divided by 6, 27 divided by 6, and plus uh, 27 
divided by 2. So it gives us 18. This gives us 18. Whereas what gives this one? So let's see. 1 divided by 6 and plus 9 divided by 2. Okay. It gives 14 by 3 and minus 12. So I have to just solve. And let's see 18 minus 14 divided by 3 and minus 12. It gives us 4 by 3. So unit square. Unit square. This gives us shaded area. And now if you want to confirm, I can I want I so what is the equation of line? This one, this line. This line is, you know, equation of x-axis is y equal to zero. All of you know it. And equation of this is called y is equal to six. So it means y is equal to 6 here. So it means if I, I just I just show you only. If I integration line, so y is equal to 6 integration is what? With limit 0 to 2. And let's see now if I do it 6x, limit 0 to 2. And you can see that put 2 here, 6 to the 12 and minus 0. And Mabruk, I got same answer. I repeat again, if you're not understanding what equation of x axis, y is 0. If line goes to 6, because this coordinate is, so this is called y equal to 6. Repeat, here 6 actually. Okay, so y equal to 6. So, so this 6 I kept here, you can see here. Okay, and um, that is why I got a 12 same answer. So it means no problem, you use line integration or you use rectangle. So both are correct answer, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen.